Good morning. Um, Emily Quisenberry here. Um, it is Friday morning and it is a gorgeous day here in Rockwall. I'm just going to shoot this quick video before I head out um, to work for a few hours. And really just um, wanted to ask you, if you ever ask yourself this question, that's I know what I put in the post, and the question is, why am I here? Um, when you join, um, you can definitely let me know that you're here by commenting below. This is Facebook Live, so it's um, happening right now. Now, you may be watching this later, and that's great. Um, you won't be able to interact live, but uh, I love this platform. So do you ever ask yourself that? Why am I here? And I'll just tell you, for years, I thought that I was on this earth to perform, um, to achieve, um, to be strong, to, you know, be recognized, to stand out, um, to be the perfect size. Um, and I'll just tell you, all that stuff came up short for me and um, left me feeling really broken and um, alone. And the truth is, I've known Jesus since I was six years old. Um, he became uh, my savior at that time when I prayed and asked him to come into my heart and forgive me of my sins. But he did not become Lord of my life until 21, when I found myself face down on the floor of my apartment, completely broken. And truthfully, what drove me to that place was this, was this desperation and this just longing to be whole and to feel worthy. And so I thought after that um, intersection that God had with me on that on my apartment floor was that I would that all that would change. And guys, the truth is it didn't. I continued for years to live in that desperation of striving and trying to do better and performance and perfect behavior and wanting to look good. And again, I just kept hearing in my spirit that I was worthless. And I don't know if you can relate to that. Um, I think so many of us do, but we don't want to say it. We don't want to say those words that I feel worthless. So I actually recently started reading a book. Um, I'm actually have the privilege of being part of a book launch. I've never had that privilege before for Mary DeMuth. And um, she is a writer and a speaker, and she is amazing. And her newest book called Worth Living is kind of what I am sharing with you today. That's It's from this book. And I just want you to know that if you have those feelings, hey, Leanne, yes, we are scared to admit that um, our fear. Absolutely. We don't want to admit those things. We don't want to say them out loud. I wrote a blog post yesterday on, or no, I did a video yesterday on how we don't like to say, I'm struggling. We don't want to say those words for many reasons. I think um, one is pride. And um, we want to look like we have it all together. And I can tell you for years, that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted to, I didn't want anybody to know that there was struggle and there was hardship and there was things that I thought about myself that I would never think about someone else. So anyway, um, maybe, maybe you feel like you're alone in the way that you feel and you're not. So I just wanted to um, just share a little bit from Mary's book. And um, again, it launches May 3rd, so you've got to get your hands on this book. Um, I actually am planning on doing a book study. So if that's something that's interesting to you and you would like to be part of that, um, where we can really have a great conversation around this whole topic of our worth and our value, um, then shoot me a message and um, we can chat about that. But what I want... Um, Sorry, technology is causing issues. So, um, I just want to ask you: Are you are you weary? I'm sorry, guys. My phone is not not doing well. So, um, and I can't read. My eyes are old. So, <laughs> my question is: How can you spit in the face of the father of lies? This is what Mary asks us, who hisses such terrible words. How can you settle? who you are and whose you are while standing on the rock of God's never shifting love. How can you truly, mm, sorry, how can you believe in your sweet beauty when our culture upholds impossible standards of airbrushed perfection? How can you live gloriously free even if you don't measure up to 1,000 ideals? 
Guys, I'd never measured up in my own mind. And the truth is, Satan knew that. He he could send, he knew my weakness and he could he could attack me there and he could assault me there. And he does it to you too. And guess what, guys? Sometimes our feelings of worthlessness aren't really that's not how it comes across in us. It comes across as pride and that I've got it all together and I have this, you know, this um I, I'm able to do it. I can do it. I can pull myself up by my bootstraps and I can do it. And I think so many of us either live in our past and we beat ourselves up for things that we did or things that were done to us, or we have that feeling of pride and that feeling of, I can handle anything. I can do it. It's in my control. And guys, either one of those things are going to leave us feeling alone because that's not the truth. So, um, I would really love to, um, that's that, and that's how we that's how we change this is by by changing our wiring, changing the things that we believe our, about ourselves, taking those lies that Satan continually, hey Terry, that that uh, that Satan continues to feed us about ourselves, um, and to replace them with God's truth, to stand on the truth of His Word, because guys, in John eight thirty one and thirty two, it says, "You are truly my disciples." If you remain faithful to my teaching, my phone, y'all, um, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Guys, we've got to know the truth of God's word about what he says about us. Guys, we were bought with a price. And Mary's book, the cool thing about it is it's taken these different lies, 10 different lies, and has helped us to unpack those lies and to replace them with God's truth about who we are. And the second piece of it is that by doing joining together, you're right, the truth will set us free, Leanne. By joining together, guys, and bringing this truth and these lies that we're believing about ourselves out of the darkness and into the light by having these conversations is powerful. God wants us to be in community with each other. God wants us encouraging each other and loving each other and helping each other to navigate this journey of life. And doing it alone is exactly what Satan wants. He wants us isolated. He wants us away. He wants us in our own head. He wants us thinking, I am worthless. And guys, I thought it for so many years. I still struggle on days. Um, I can feel it feel I can wake up feeling funky. I don't know if any of you guys know what that feels like, but it's I can. And but what I'm learning is that by bringing these struggles into the light, by replacing those lies with the truth, by sharing in community with other people, God is working in me. He is changing me and he wants to change you. He wants to restore you to your created purpose. So listen, over the next 10 days before Mary's book launches, I'm going to be just sharing little videos about like five minutes or something, just about truths from each chapter and each of the lies. I hope you'll join me. Um, and then, you know, if it again is interesting to you to be part of a book study, to be part of a community of people who are looking to, to really break free and to overcome things that maybe have been holding you back. Maybe there's something and you don't even know what it is. Maybe you have been just feeling like you're hitting this ceiling in your life and hitting this wall and you don't know why. Join us. Come and be part of a community of people who... A, a group of women, I hate to say men, but we're not going to include you in this. This is going to be women only. Um, and let us let us journey this together. So if you want to grab up Mary, um, Mary has actually a free chapter available. And you can go to marydemuth.com forward slash worth living. And I'll actually drop that link down in um, the post so that you can see that. But does anybody have any questions or thoughts or anything? I just appreciate your time this morning. I'm gonna have to jump out of here. Sorry, I'm trying to get my foot out from under me um, and head to work. But um, I just really would love to pray for, for you guys. So God, I just thank you for this time, Lord Jesus. I thank you for the beauty of the, um, the day. Lord, I thank you that each day we wake up, your mercies are new every morning. We can start afresh. Lord Jesus, I thank you that your truth does set us free and that the lies that Satan assaults us with and attacks us with and whispers to us, Lord, God, can be replaced and can we can be changed. We can be restored, renewed. 
God, you tell us that we have a, a, a new heart, that we, that we have a new, that we're a new creation. God, help us to live into that today. God, I thank you for my brothers and sisters, Lord. I thank you for the struggle. I thank you for the beauty. God, I thank you so much for what you're doing, and we love you so much. In Jesus' holy and precious and powerful name, I pray. Amen. Awesome. Um, thanks, Wendy. Oh, I'm so excited. Definitely send me a PM, please. Um, oh, and we will chat about that. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for your time. I just love you and um, go and make this a fabulous day. Be blessed.